In Persia, there is a city which is called Saba, from whence there was the three magi who came to adore Christ in Bethlehem. And all three are buried in that city in a fair sepulcher. And they are all three entire with their beards and hair. One was called Baldassar, the second Gaspar, and the third Melchior. Marco inquired often in that city concerning the three magi, and nobody could tell him anything about them except that the three magi were buried there in ancient times. After a three days journey, you come to a castle which is called Palisada, which means the castle of the fire worshippers, and it is true that the inhabitants of the castle worship fire, and it is given as this reason. The men of the castle say that anciently three kings of that country went to adore a certain king who was newly born, and carried with them three offerings, namely gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold that they might know if he was an earthly king, frankincense that they might know if he was a god, and myrrh that they might know if he were a mortal man. When the Magi presented to Christ, the youngest of the three adored him first, and it appeared to him that Christ was of his stature and age. The middle one came next, and then the eldest, and to each he seemed to be of their own stature and age. Having compared their observations together, they agreed to all go worship at once, and then he appeared to them as his true age. When they went away, the infant gave them a closed box, which they carried with them for several days. And becoming curious to see what he had given them, they opened the box and found in it a stone, which was intended for a sign that they should remain as firm as stone in the faith that they had received from him. When, however, they saw the stone, they marveled and thinking themselves deluded, they threw the stone into a certain pit and instantly fire burst from the pit. When they saw this, they repented bitterly for what they had done and taking some of the fire with them, they carried it home. And having placed it in one of their churches, they kept it continually burning and adore that fire as a god and make all their sacrifices with it. And if it should happen to be extinguished, they go for more of the original fire in the pit where they had threw the stone, which is never extinguished, and they take no other fire than that. Therefore, the people of the country worship fire. Marco was told all this by the people of the country, and it is true that one of those kings was of Saba, and the second was of Devaya, and the third was of the castle. The other mention we find of the three kings... This one in Purchases Pilgrims talking about Tartarians. And there was a Tartar captain called Giuboga. Giuboga loved the Christians well, for he was of the progeny of the three kings which went to worship the nativity of the Lord. Now, we don't know what, which one of the three kings Giuboga descended from, But if you happen to uncover that historical information, it would be great uh, to learn that. So put it down in the comments or help me dig to find that. But the three wise men or the three magi, magicians, Baldassar, Gaspar, and Melchior, these three guys apparently are the ancestors of the Tartarian that we find, Gilboga mentioned here. So just a little piece of real history, at least a real historical accounts. I don't know if Jesus is an age morphine uh, infant who goes to a middle age to an older man and then back to an infant, but I found this Christmas story quite intriguing and one story of the nativity that I hadn't heard before. Merry Christmas, everyone.